Steamboat Geyser. Steamboat Geyser is Steamboat Geyser. So fortunate enough to catch an eruption of Steamboat Geyser. Yellowstone Steamboat Geyser eruption triggers earthquake, alarming visitors and scientists. But that doesn't mean that the geyser has been slipped. In a dramatic display of nature's raw power, Yellowstone National Park Steamboat Geyser erupted with unprecedented force early this morning, setting off a chain reaction that culminated in a moderate earthquake. A jet engine that gradually diminishes, the geyser goes quiet, then it starts bubbling again. The rare and alarming event left thousands of visitors and park staff stunned, with scientists racing to assess the implications of this extraordinary phenomenon. The geyser, known for being the tallest active geyser in the world, erupted at approximately 7.15 a.m. local time. Spewing massive jets of scalding water and steam over 300 feet into the frigid winter air. Witnesses described a deafening roar accompanied by tremors that shook the ground as boiling water cascaded down the surrounding area, creating an otherworldly scene. Look at that. I've never seen anything like it, said Megan Thompson, a visitor from Colorado. The ground was shaking, and the sound was overwhelming. It felt like the earth itself was coming alive. Earthquake strikes following eruption minutes after the geyser's spectacular eruption. Seismic monitors in the region detected a magnitude 4.2 earthquake centered near the Norris Geyser Basin, where Steamboat is located. Springtime and things blooming yeah. and stuff getting green instead of just being... The quake, though moderate, was strong enough to be felt throughout the park and in nearby towns causing widespread concern among residents and visitors alike. According to the United States Geological Survey USGS, the timing and proximity of the earthquake to the geyser eruption suggest a possible connection. While geyser activity and seismic events are not uncommon in Yellowstone's geothermally active landscape, the combination of a major geyser eruption and a subsequent earthquake is exceedingly rare. Dr. Laura Bennett, a geophysicist with the USGS, explained the potential link. The intense pressure release during Steamboat's eruption could have destabilized nearby faults, triggering the earthquake. This underscores the dynamic and interconnected nature of Yellowstone's underground systems. Rising concerns about Yellowstone's supervolcanic activity, the dual event has reignited concerns about the stability of Yellowstone's vast magma chamber, which lies beneath the park and fuels its geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles. Although scientists emphasize that the chance of a supervolcanic eruption remains extremely low, today's events have drawn attention to the unpredictable nature of the region. This is a wake-up call for monitoring Yellowstone's geothermal and seismic activity, said Dr. Richard Hayes, a volcanologist. So if something hot comes up, while these events are likely unrelated to larger-scale volcanic activity, they highlight the need for constant vigilance. Visitor safety and ongoing monitoring park officials have temporarily closed the Norris Geyser Basin and surrounding areas to ensure visitor safety while experts assess the situation.